As someone who daily drives budget headphones, I really like the idea of being able to get good sounds and good features at a cheap price. So when Soundpete sent us their true wireless transparent earbuds, I was genuinely excited because I think these look pretty cool. So let's unbox them and see if they're good or not. Let's get into it. So we got the uh, the black ones here. Let's look at some of these features. So they boast a 12 millimeter dynamic driver, 40 hours of playtime with the case, and dual mics and dual microphones for noise cancellation. They advertise Bluetooth version 5.3, frequency response range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and a maximum working distance of 10 meters. We have a play time of around seven hours and we can boost that up to 40 with the charging case. We have a 38 million power battery for the earbuds and 400 million power battery for the charging case. All right, let's unbox these. I have a handy dandy kitchen knife right here and we are going to cut the plastic film. Kids don't handle knives because as I've said before, because it includes knives and knives aren't for children. And as we can see here, uh, we see their slogan, hear your imagination. That's an interesting slogan, I will say. Okay, let's open it up. All right, so at the top we are greeted with some documentation. Let's look at this real quick. So we have a little pull tab, not entirely sure what this is for. I think we just pull it up. Oh, that's nice. That's actually kind of neat. Nice packaging. We can look at their, uh, we got their manual here. User guide. These instructions look uh, pretty nice. In that packet, we also got a an app introduction. Um, which is great. Personally, I don't really like having to install uh, an external app to control the earbuds. Um, I know it does offer additional features. I wish changing the earbud settings could just be um, as simple as Apple makes it with their AirPods. And pulling out the earbuds, these look pretty cool, but let's, uh, let's set these aside and look at what else is in the box. So if we pull this thing out here, we have some more area. I think I'm supposed to pull these out. And there's a little package for what looks like our Type-C charging cable. And in here, we get ear tips. Cool. Let's look at this charging cable. Uh, for a lot of budget headphones, they don't include like a really good or long charging cable. And yeah, this charging cable is nothing special. Yeah, this cable is nothing special. But in defense of Soundpete's, um, yeah, most other companies also include this long and this quality of a cable with their headphones. So I'm not judging. Um, we can look at their ear tips here. Ah, come out, come, come, come out of the back. There we go. Looks like we have two different sizes included in the spare. This looks like a small and a large, and I think there's some already on the earbuds. So let's look at these earbuds now. So uh, we'll pull this part. This looks overly complicated, but I think we peel this. Dang, this is a vibe. I kind of like this transparent. I didn't think, I kind of like this transparency, man. I didn't think I would. From the product page, it looked kind of weird. I'm seriously liking this in person. This is like actually kind of sick looking. Hey, the hinge, the hinge does not feel like it's made of nothing. It feels somewhat premium. Listen to that click. <laughs> that hinge is strong, bro. Man, I I kind of really like this transparent design. It's certainly not the best I've ever seen. I still think the AirPods case looks really good. But hey, this is a vibe, and I'm vibing, man. This is pretty cool. Uh, so looking around, we have a Soundpeats logo on the back. It's all in black, so uh, it's kind of tinted, and I like that. On the bottom, we have our USB-C charging cable and a button that I will have to see what that does in a minute. Oh, a light turned on. Let's look at the, the inside. Let's look at the earbuds themselves. All right, so it looks like they come out magnetically. Yes. Okay, they don't stick in the best. I think you're supposed to... Am I doing this wrong? Oh, wait, there's a tab I haven't pulled off yet. So we will, we will pull off the tab. There we go. And now I think it should just go in like that. And that appeared to work because there are now lights flashing on the earbuds and we can do that 
with this other one as well. Cool, man. I'm really liking how these earbuds look. They definitely are going after like kind of a nothing looking design with how they did with the ear ones. And I kind of like that, man. I think these guys did a good job of replicating that and I, I really like how these look. These are the earbuds that I daily. These are the JBL 230 TWS. I think the hinge might actually be stronger on this. Like, and these are like a hundred dollar earbuds. Man, the hinge feels really good. Oh, that's actually pretty sad. The shape is quite peculiar. I don't know if I like the shape a whole lot. I think if it was like transparent and more um, squared off of the edges, more like my JBL headphones, I'd like them a bit better. But uh, the transparency really makes up for the shape. But I, I could get used to these. I could get used to these. They're about the same size and thickness. I think these, they're like basically the same thickness. And the, yeah, they're basically about the same size as my earbuds. Uh, one thing I do like about these is the charging port is on the bottom. Uh, on my JBL headphones, there's a little lip here, and that makes it hard for certain USB-C cables to fit in there. Like sometimes I use my Nintendo Switch USB-C charger, and it won't fit because of uh, the lip here. But with the charger port on the bottom, there is no lip, and I can stick it in pretty easily, like that. Okay, well, let's proceed with the setup, and I'm going to follow the instructions to see how good they really are. So, let's look here. Okay, initial setup. Opening the open the charging case lid and remove the earbuds. Peel off the insulation film from both earbuds. Place the earbuds back into the charging case, then take them out again. At this point, the left and right earbuds will automatically enter into the TWS interconnection state. Oh, once the interconnection is successful, both earbuds will enter pairing mode. Okay, so I think they're pairing to the case or something. Activate the Bluetooth on your device, then select Sound Pete's Clear from the Bluetooth device list to complete the pairing process. I just remembered my phone is recording this video. I will get another phone. All right, so I went and got myself another phone because I forgot that my phone was recording this video. So let's take these earbuds out of the case and pair them up and just put them right here for the moment and wait for them to appear on the phone. Okay, so they're appearing on the phone here. Sound beats clear, connected. All right, so it looks like this button on the bottom is to reset it. So basically with the earbuds in the case, we could hold it for 10 seconds and it would reset them, probably disconnecting them from the last device that they were connected, which is pretty useful. And that is another thing that these, that my earbuds don't have. So that's a genuine feature that I could use sometimes. Let's uh, put the earbuds in here. These feel really good in my ears, and they're a bit, uh, they're a bit smaller than my earbuds, too. We can look here, uh, and they're actually, I think the, uh, I think the main part is about the same size, maybe a little smaller, but the stem is significantly smaller in all dimensions, and I actually kind of like it. Just being a little shorter, like, hey, that's pretty cool. One feature you do not get on these, and that's probably because these only cost $23, is active noise cancel, which is something that, while they aren't the best on these, it's a feature that I have really come to appreciate. So if you do get these, these aren't going to have that, but hey, for the price, these are looking pretty good. But I'm not gonna say that until the end of the video, because we still need to test out sound quality. And for $23, I don't really expect too much. It's probably going to be flat. But with all the other features, if the, even if the sound quality is flat, all it needs to do is to work uh, for these to be a good value, really, in my mind. So we'll open up Spotify. Yeah, they're pretty flat, you know, nothing but mids. But with all the other features that these come with, I still think they're a pretty good value, honestly. Some of the best $23 earbuds that I've used, and I've used some pretty cheap earbuds. I did see a bit about an app, so let's download that. Hopefully the app is compatible with this phone because this is an iPhone success and only supports up to iOS 15. Okay, here's the app. The ratings do not look very promising for this app. 
1.4 stars out of five. Ouch. I mean, it can't be that bad, can it? I will say, I think it's pretty odd. Like, these design decisions aren't the best, I think. Yeah, I don't really know how much I like this app. It's kind of off-centered, and the design's kind of odd. Adaptive EQ. Let's try this. So I guess we have a it's preset to my ears now. See how well that seems to work. They do sound a bit different now, so I think that actually helped it a bit. That's pretty cool, actually. My earbuds don't have that. We'll test the battery on this, and uh, we'll, you'll see the results of that in a pinned comment in the comments below. And hey, while you're down there, why don't you let us know what earbuds you use and how much you like them. Anyways, I think that about caps it for this video. All in all, I think these earbuds are actually a pretty good value if you don't mind the app kind of sucking, because the app kind of sucks. But everything else about these earbuds, like, these are really good for the value. Of course, they aren't, like, super premium headphones, but they are some of the best ones that I've used at this price point. If you want to buy these, I'll leave a link to the product in the description below. And thanks for watching. Please check out some of our other videos. If you liked this video, you might enjoy our AirPods Pro review, where we reviewed the AirPods Pros with USB-C. That was a pretty cool video, so you should check that one out. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.